Hi, welcome to Midwest Magic Cleaning. My name is Lambda 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 and Omega Moo. And today I'm going to be showing you how a housekeeper cleans a car. The very first thing you'll want to do is get rid of that top layer of dirt. And just like on any surface, I'll use a broom to remove that. Now it's important to not sweep with a lot of pressure because you can scratch the paint and hurt the car's feelings. Also, don't step right in the middle of your car because you will dent it. Fortunately, I'm six foot four, so I could place one of my feet on both sides of the stable part of the hood. If you're not six four, you may want to consider being that. It just makes the sweep being easier. Once you're finished with the hood and the windshield, don't forget to go around the sides of the car because dirt sticks there too. Now some people like to use an up and down motion when sweeping the side of their car, but those people are stupid. I swing it back and forth the way I would a flaming baseball bat if I were fighting off zombies. Once we have the main layer of dirt off, we'll want to go over the entire car with a Swiffer duster. This gets rid of any fine particulates and lets the car know that everything's okay. The bad part's over now. Enjoy the soft caress of a fluffy Swiffer. Mm -hmm. While going around the car, don't forget to Swiffer the tires. This is all you'll need to clean those. Some people will say that you need a pressure washer in order to get tires clean, and those people are in league with the devil. And I don't put up with devil worshippers. I'm not putting up with it. I'm not putting up with it. Now it's important to note that this is not the way professional detailers do their cars, but those people are a different kind of weird. Speaking of detail geeks, if you watch Detail Geek, please let him know in the comments that Midwest Magic Cleaning says hi. He'll have no idea who I am, and that's probably for the better. But we can have fun temporarily confusing him and making him wonder why a hundred different people just said hi from a channel he's never heard of. If you have heard of me, hi Detail Geek, I'm a big fan, so suck it. Now once you've Swiffered the entire car, we need to take care of one final layer of built up dirt and we do that by vacuuming the whole car. Don't worry, your vacuum has a hardwood setting and in some vacuums that makes the bristles stop turning. If they don't stop turning, you probably don't want to do this. It's a much safer route to just lick the final layer of dirt off, just to be safe. If you do use the lick method, be careful around your windows because tinning is made out of black tar heroin and you don't want to have to explain to the police how you overdosed on windows. Now that we've finished vacuuming, we can finally mop the car, and I do this with a diluted mixture of Lysol floor cleaner and water and a Liebman twist mop. It just makes it easier to get into all the cracks and crevices around the door frames. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this, one, I'm crazy, and two, I'm actually preparing for next week. For those who don't know, I'm doing a big collaboration with Clean with Barbie. She's flying in from New York, and a beautiful mess, that's Bonnie, and she's flying in from Utah. We'll be doing a three to four day collaboration on a hoarded house and that means that this week I had to clear my schedule in order to get all the preparations made. I've got hotel rooms to book, a ton of supplies to order, I've got to pack up my car for myself and my wife. I'm also making all the meal preparations and I have to get their Rolexes ordered because I don't come without gifts baby. That's how I roll. Call me gift given Johnny back in Columbus. Yo man is that old gift given Johnny? I don't know. Let's say hi and see if we get to open some presents. 
I bet we do. Now, for regular viewers of the channel, don't worry, there will be a Monday Live this coming week, and there will be a members only video this week. I've just got an absolute ton of stuff on my plate, so I did not have time to do a hoarder house this weekend. But I mean, my car was dirty enough to where it could be considered a hoarder house if the hoarders were bugs and the hoard was their intestines spread out over my paint job. Now, Barbie's originally from Hungary, and I've been studying up on my European history and etiquette because over there, there when they meet, they full on kiss each other in the mouth, like in the mouth. And over here, that's not really what we do. But I know there's a secondary greeting they use for family only, which I may do, which is you spin kick each other in the face and scream suck it. The problem is she's five feet tall and I'm not sure that I can spin kick that low, but I'll figure it out. Etiquette's not my strong suit. I don't know much about etiquette. Now, Bonnie's greeting will be easier because from Utah, they just spit in each other's face and scream, you know what you did? You know what you did? Utah people are weird. Once you finish mopping the car all the way around, you want to put some tire shine on your wheels. I just use Armor All. You spray it on. You don't have to wipe it off. You just spray it on and then go, ooh, bubbles, and then walk away and it does its own thing. While we're waiting on the bubbles to finish bubbling, it may be worth it to get used to both Barbie and Bonnie's channels. Again, they're clean with Barbie and a beautiful mess. They're great channels. I'm going to be working with both of them on how they can improve their channels. It's not like I'm the end all be all of cleaning channels. I don't think that at all. But there are places where I've been successful and I know how to articulate it. So the very first night that we meet, I'm going to go over some numbers with them and some little tricks and tips behind the scenes. And then I'll be like, hey, you will do it. You will take this information that I'm giving to you and you will apply it. And I mean now, now. And then they'll start crying and I'm like, don't cry. Just apply the information. You will apply it or I will apply it for you, son. And that's just how I roll. Now, once we finish the tires, we're going to get into the actual cleaning part. I do that by using Mr. Clean Freak and a microfiber towel. You just spray it on, wait for a second, and then wipe it right back off. Then I'm going to follow that up with an ultra fine microfiber in order to shine up the paint and remove any streaks. We're going to do this with every inch of the car. I won't show all that on video because damn, but I will show the hood and the front. Now, it won't remove bugs, and as far as I know, bugs are impossible to remove. So just clean right over the top of those and just understand that they're a part of your car now and it's something that you just have to accept. Now on this day it was 85 degrees and so the Mr. Clean evaporated almost on contact so on certain parts of the hood I had to really saturate that and also I don't think you're supposed to use Mr. Clean on cars but I know what I'm doing so I went ahead and did it anyway. If you attempt this and you're not a professional I would watch a YouTube video on it like the one you're watching right now because spraying in the wrong direction or wiping too quickly could catch the car on fire or summon a demon. And trust me, on an 85 degree day, you don't want to be summoning demons. They're rude. If you do accidentally summon a demon, you can dispel him by mixing up three quarters of a bottle with isopropyl alcohol. The strength doesn't really matter. One quarter of the bottle with holy water and five or six drops of the blood of an innocent. Just mist it over the demon. Use a microfiber cloth to massage it in and then use an ultra fine microfiber cloth to wipe the red residue away. Not the residue of the cleaner, the residue of the actual demon. If he doesn't fully disappear, just reapply the cleaner, follow the same steps, and chant, I clean thee in the name of the Lord. Trust me, after a couple of applications, he'll be gone. Now, once we're done Mr. Cleaning the car, we need to vacuum the interior. And on this part, I'm not going to get too awful picky. I just want it to be vacuumed enough to where if a friend gets in the car with me, they don't puke. So the vacuum that I'm using here is a Hoover Power Drive Swivel XL. It's what I use in most of my videos. You can find those at Walmart. They're fairly cheap. Once we get our store set up to where I start selling things online, this will be one of the things that I sell. The one drawback to this vacuum is that it's made of plastic and if you're too rough with it, the plastic can crack like the little tabs and stuff on it. Otherwise, it's one of the more powerful home vacuums I've ever used and they're cheap enough to where if one breaks from my business, 
it's not a big deal to just buy a replacement and then use the old one for parts. So I'm going to use that sucker. No pun intended. That's a lie. It was fully intended. Suck it. You suck my pun. Anyway, we're going to use that vacuum to get all the crumbs, also known as shattered food, and dog hair out of my car. It can be a little bit awkward maneuvering the vacuum, but unfortunately there's no other way to vacuum a car. If you don't have a vacuum like this, you can use a pair of tweezers to pick up each individual crumb and dog hair, curse at it, and then fling it into your yard. It will take a bit longer, but you'll get a more detailed clean. As you can see when I use the vacuum, it does leave some stuff behind. What they should do is make a like a hose that attaches to your vacuum so that you can pull that off and do everything by hand, but unfortunately those don't exist. While we're watching me do this, if you're new to my channel, I normally clean up hoarder houses for free, and I've done upwards of $20,000 cleanups without charging the person a dime. The channel's only about a year and a half old, and we are already approaching 300,000 subscribers. Our goal is to hit a million so that I can get a gold plaque and rub it in my kid's face and make them cry and show them how much better I am than them. If I get the gold plaque, I'm going to put it on a chain and wear it around my neck like Flavor Flav. So if you could hit the subscribe button, I won't unleash a tornado of feet and teeth upon you. I mean, that would be awesome. Again, I'm not great at etiquette. Also, my TikTok is actually on pace to overtake YouTube in pretty much every facet. Don't worry, I'm not going exclusively to TikTok. This is my home. YouTube is my home. But if you haven't seen those videos, I do weird ones like this all the time. And the link to that TikTok channel is in my bio or in the description of all my videos. So suck it. Also, people ask me all the time if I have a Patreon or a place they can donate or an Amazon wish list. I don't use any of that. I just use the features that YouTube provides, which is super thanks, members only areas where I've, I've got one of those for $4.99 a month. You get an extra video every Wednesday and I do all those videos completely nude. Mm -hmm. We've got a merchandise shop that I link in the description of all my videos as well as the link to that members page. If you can't afford that, don't do it, please. It's just a way to show support for the channel. It's not a big deal. So shut up. Once we finish vacuuming the car, I'm going to use my homemade APC. I haven't given that recipe for a while, so here we go. You get a spray bottle. If you're sanitizing, you'll just use straight 70% isopropyl alcohol and five or six drops of Dawn dish soap. If you're just worried about shining and cleaning, you'll fill about a third of the bottle with any strength isopropyl alcohol, the rest with water, and five or six drops of Dawn. I'm using the second one because I'm not worried about sanitizing. That stuff is good for glass, mirrors, stone countertops, marble, granite, pretty much everything that's a hard surface except for wood. But it is exceptional on glass. So I'm going to use that on my windshield and all the glass on my car. I'll clean it with a microfiber rag and then I will dry it with an ultra fine microfiber towel and that gets rid of the streaks. Now on the outside of the windshield, we're gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna follow that up with a rain -X cleaner. Rich people, you wanna have your butler do this for you. Poor people, rain -X is a protectant that prevents it from raining. I do have an actual bottle of just straight rain -X. This one that I'm using is a cleaner. It's a combination cleaner and protectant, but I didn't feel like using the full-blown rain -X because I'm lazy today and I do what I want. I do what I want.
Now, once we finish with all the windows, I'm going to jump back in the car and I'm going to use just regular everyday armor all on all the hard surfaces. It's important to know that whenever you use this stuff, spray the rag and not the actual dashboard because you'll get armor all misted on the windows that you just cleaned. Or even if you clean the windows last, you'll be dealing with like a greasy buildup and it'll smear all over your glass. So spray the rag and then wipe down all the surfaces to make them shiny. Once again, if you guys could give some love to Clean With Barbie and A Beautiful Mess, I'd love to see them get their subscriptions up. I think Barbie's less than 50000 away from her first plaque, her silver plaque. A Beautiful Mess hasn't been around that long, but she is up and coming. She's very good. Both of them are awesome. But if you could jump over there and hit the subscribe button and tell them that uh, Midwest Magic Cleaning said to suck it, it would just make their day. And you'll get a lot out of those channels. They're so much fun to watch. In the meantime, I have to spend the rest of the week doing all my prep and get the videos ready for the members section and do my Monday live. And then this time next week on Saturday, we will be starting our new collaboration and it is going to be awesome. It's going to rock right in your face. It's going to rock your face off. A million faces on this channel and I'm about to rock them all. Cool side note that I keep forgetting to bring up is that Insider is going to be there doing a piece on all of us. They're going to interview us, film us cleaning the house. It's going to be on their channels and that should give a massive boost to all three of our channels as far as eyeballs. <laughs> I said balls. That was pretty cool. Anyway, I will see you all Monday for the live. Members, I'll see you on Wednesday with the members only video. And hopefully I'll see you next Saturday with a regular video if I can squeeze in a cleaning between here and there. If not, just understand that I'm completely swamped this week. So I'm going to do what I can. And if you don't like that, you can just lick four butts. Later.